everybody, and welcome back to the adventures of Wilbur von Valencius, uh, Lord Captain Rogue Trader Man. Very cool, very cool. We're still on this, uh, prison planet. There seems to be some guards and prisoners, so let's go talk to them. Last time we got some new crew. Let's see if they want to join too. Doesn't look like it. I told you, Evie, they were hiding so much from us. Arrogant mentors, holy brothers and sisters. Uh, what have we, they ever given us? Nothing but a pile of fibs and useless abominations. The voice of a man standing with his back to you sounds almost soft, heedless of everything but what is in front of before him. He leans over a prisoner dressed in expensive clothing. Oh, this dude. So he's like doing shit to him. But Aurora, she is different. She spoke with me like no one ever had before. She revealed the truth to me, and now I can reveal it to you. If you just stop struggling for one minute. What? The man finally realizes he is not alone and turns to you. He's clutching a long, thin, metallic rod with blood dripping from it. We have guests from the Von Valencius ship, I would wager. Evie, my dear, uh, you will have to wait. Do not faint. I beg of you. It's important you feel everything, including the other eye. The warden's words are suddenly drowned out by a chorus of voices in your head. The entity that still dwells in the recesses of your mind rejoices in a cacophony of cries. This place is... It holds great significance for the entity. In the frantic chanting of the voices, you can almost make out words that speak in an ancient grave. One that it was opened for can, it contained a priceless treasure. A most coveted prize that was retrieved by the faithful after a long, a centuries long search. Such dreadful shades. Cassia recoils and covers her mouth. The colors of this place are the patricent, patricent to the core. And these people, their colors are oozing with madness and despair, pain and doom. Uh, step away from the hostage at once. Let's do that. Probably not gonna. Oh, that's the rogue trader, I bet. Or the winter scale, yeah. Hostage? How rude! Young winter scale is my guest and dearest friend. Oh, sorry. The warden sneers and glances at the maimed young man. He came here himself to visit an old acquaintance and have a heartfelt talk, and I, I am merely showing him some appropriate hospitality to commemorate our reunion. As if his words echo, as if, as if echoing his words, a vein lets out a weak moan. How dare you, contemptible peasant. <laughs> For every drop of noble blood you spill, you will pay f a hundredfold more. Cassia turns to you for support in an, an expression that is equal parts indignant and frightened. Abelard shakes his head somberly. That poor fool. I knew nothing good could come of his naive attempt to negotiate with heretics. However, Evane appears to still be alive. It will make haste. If we make haste, we might yet save him. Having a scion of House Winterscale in your debt would certainly prove beneficial. Uh, how do you know who I am? Who is that on the table? We know that. Uh, what madness have wrought, you wrought in this prison? Uh, why did you mutilate these people? That pit, is there something special about it? Is there not? An item of value was once buried there. Now tell me, Warden. What was the item you took from here? Uh, the Warden's gaze bores into you. He, then he smiles with the corners of his lips. 
You are too late, enemy of the truth. This bastion has already fulfilled its great purpose. You will never find the trail of the reclaimed relic that now rests in the hands of a devout. Okay, we're just gonna fucking attack. Who's Aurora? Oh, you... So you've managed to barge in here and interfere with the prophetess's designs without even knowing who she is? But it's too late now. You'll never attain sight. All you do can do is accept your fate. He suddenly stirs like a predatory beast. I do not like that when people take the pre prophets, prof, prophetess, prophetess Aurora's name in vain. I desire your death, enemy of the truth. The warden raises his hand, and the maimed people start thrashing on the about on the throes of death. Oh God! The time of four words has passed. Optimates, if you are gain your power to this harbinger of Aurora, let foes see the truth or become a wash in blood. I won't heed your cries of mercy. I'll turn you into corpse starch. Okay. So we got some places we can stand. Oh, is that really? That's half cover? Really? I guess I'll go there. And then Abelard, you can go down in front. Uh, Cassia, you can go right here. Drea can go over there. And you can go in there. I think that's a good start to the battle. Oh shit, they all quick, get to quick. go first. God damn. My faith shields okay. me. Time to slaughter someone. Uh. Oh shit. Oh, is this unholy lens? Oh, this has a hitbox or er, hit points. Son of a bitch. Okay. Uh, for now, we're going to switch to melee. We're going to move here and kill this guy. Tried and tested tactics are the best ones. I took care of this one. Cool. And then we're going to charge at this man. I think he should. Yeah. Victory is imminent. Cool. I'm going this to will be done. race for impact. Could endure. I could reckless strike. No, no, because then I'd have to. I'd have to have enough for that. Endure the warrior's next turn. All incoming damage is reduced by two, and he gains five temporary hit points. That's pretty good. Look out. Considering he's gonna get Yeah. Yeah, everybody go for him, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Everybody just Oh yeah, he is so good. What a tank. Okay, that's seriously starting to hurt. Okay, Wilbur. You've got some stuff to do, eh? Could get down another level. No, but I'd rather stay up. God, those guys are fucking kicking my ass. The guards? Prisoners we can deal with. They're all nine. And the warden. I think I'm going to... Put this on Abelard. Not a problem for me. Cool. I could give him another turn oh, too. too. If I give him another turn, he can definitely swing the axe. Or his sword. Yeah, I there we go. Do, the Fuck yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Nice. Okay, I need to get in better cover here, so I'm actually going to go and back off. 
Or should I go right here? Yeah, that's better. I'll go right there. Uh, we'll ignore cover and have double... Oh, okay. I don't need that right now. But I will... Shoot at you. Done. And I missed. And I'm out of points. Damn it. What's the command, mine, I purposes. guess? That's the problem with having all your, uh, fucking, all your med kits on one guy is that you can't fucking heal the people in the back. Yikes. Um, this is five to eight. Four to ten to fourteen. God, and all those guys are all the way over there. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go with this. Down there we go, that's not hidden Abelard. 13, not bad. And I'll then I can it. actually run and gun. I should have thought about that beforehand. I think I can get right there. God Hit him again. Move through me. Be the fire in my heart. Maybe with them being out of cover, they will uh, target them more. Grant six momentum? Sure, why not? Adira? My girl? What does this do again? The next hit against this target will be an automatic crit. Who is going next? Cassia. So if I do this... What? Was that you? Or... And then I do this. If I just stack all this shit on him. Anything else. And then you I can we'll give it. some defense to. What is this one? Intimidation. Operative's next non-area of attack inflicts the immediate effect on the first turn. Okay. And I don't have... Oh, I can only cast that. Okay, cool. So I think that's a good... So if I go here, go gaze. Oh, I can't get to him. Maybe if I go here? Holy shit, that is so strong. Damn it, I don't think I can get to I have read tomes of oh, military I can. tactics. Okay, cool. Uh-oh. Who the fuck is that? Oh, we need to destroy these unholy lenses. I see now, said the blind man to the deaf kid in the corner of a round room. Um, okay, we will give Wilbur another turn, insist, Lord Captain. and then he Not will defeat this. Okay, so he actually comes back fully. That is unsettling. Does that still count as cover? I don't know. So, we actually need him to move over there, but... Um... I don't think so. I guess I will take it. Oh, I need two action points, goddammit. Or wait, no, it says one action point. I'll pass. I wonder why I can't do that. Oh, I have to put it on an ally. So if I put it on you. Oh, okay. Now her her shit will. Okay, okay, okay. I getcha. Voice of command. I'll give that to Argenta since I already have it on Wilbur, right? Yeah. Okay. 
Dodge, bitch. Let's get fucked. Get to it. Ooh, baby, thank God. Good, yeah. Uh, raise yourself, nice. You fucked, dumbass. Um. Hmm. Now, question is, what do you have as a secondary? Just that last gun? That's gonna take a lot, yeah. So let's go back to the melee. I want you in on this guy. Uh, all creatures will not sell. Bleeding. A tactically sound approach. We want you all in on this guy so that once we defeat the lenses, we can just go and... Uh, let's endure again. He is just trying to hit anything in that general direction. Okay, Wilbur. Now's your time to fucking shine, my guy. That sniper of yours. Ah, damn, 90% chance all the way from over here, dude. Okay, it does still count as... Oh, Fuck yeah, easy. go for it. Did it do anything? Yeah, it took out half its health. Cool. Okay, good to know. And then I will give another action to... You? Nothing I can't do. And then I can probably just eat this man. It fucked. And then... What can I do here? Voice command. Take aim. I think that's good. Now, if she goes over here, is she gonna have enough? She is. I will bathe this battlefield in righteous fury. Nice. Concentrated fire, next range attack. Uh, the soldier deals 100% more damage and has additional dodge reduction. That's interesting. What if I do this? Hold on. Really, extra attacks equal to their weapon's rate of fire. Using the weapon attack costs... Normally costs the least AP. These attacks do not spend AP. Power Let's do that. In the will of the righteous. Okay. Cool. Faith without deed is worthless. Fuck me. As the Emperor commands, I act. Oh, I just got lucky on the fucking first thing, huh? God damn it. Okay, I did not mean to waste that. Rip. They're all got this on them. Whatever an analyze. Psychic Shriek. I wonder if... Can I even target these? No. No can do. Because they're not people. Well, in that case... Uh... Should get right here. How far does this go? I can't hit this guy. Can't hit this not guy. Not this guy's job. Yeah, she's pretty much useless back here, I would say. Unfortunately, we want to keep him engaged with him. Well, well, hold on now. She's got this. What's the range on that? Will I be able to reach over there? If I go here? Or if I go here? I'm not so sure. I'm gonna line of sight on the target. I know what is. What about that? Thirteen percent. Nope. Oh well. Now she is strong as hell. I'm gonna put her right here. Ooh, Argenta's a little in the way. 
I just do a big ass psychic blast over here. Avalard's out of the way. Let's try that. I want to see what this does. Kill five enemies in one attack. Oh no, did I? No, he's still moving, right? Okay, I didn't even think about that. Holy shit, that could have been fucked up, dude. It looks like he's still swarming around, right? Yeah, he's still breathing. Okay. Damn, well, he's only got two HP left. Do I guess I'll give... Dare ask. Oh, I can't do that, eh? What if I, I give her another a turn? Not a servitor. What? Was that you? Or... Nope. And let's close that out. That's whatever. Show me what you've got. He's going after the weakest link here. Abelard. I know you can probably kill him. Why can't I I'd rather not. shoot? This really cannot be used That's when there are melee the armed job. enemies adjacent to the character. That's good to know. What if I bleed you again? Your back and call. It does not stack. Got it. I'll do endure again. Time to slow someone. Cool. Wilbur? You got a line of sight on some people, eh? Already done. Okay, we got it. Wait, can I give Cassia Suits my purposes. AP to that use this? No, okay, I was about to say if I could give myself another move, that would have been fantastic. But uh Why is this not targetable? Okay. I guess it is. Grace, at least. Well, that actually was the play, Wilbur. Good job. Proud of you. Argenta. Is that the last of the holy unholy lenses? I think so. So we're going to get as close as we can. We're going to pop some shots. Guided by faith. Oh, so close. Let's it. run a gun. The enemies of the emperor will be undone. Okay, all those are gone. Adira, move you up, girl. And then hopefully now he's in range. Oh, need line of sight. Will this do? Not this gray as job. What about right here? No can do. Damn it. Okay. Fair enough. What if I go right here and I use it on? I'm not so sure. Target is too far. Target's too far there. They who descend the future on the Maybe I can do that. Oh, he's got one HP. He dies at the beginning of his turn, right? I'm a member. Okay. I'm afraid not. No line of sight on the target, really. Do not oh, and he's ask. just out of range. Okay, let's go right here. Step aside. Try to kill him. The navigator is coming. Nice. Okay. Good shit. Uh, Wilbur. If only that were possible. Target is too far. Fuck. I can give it to Adira. I can give it to Abelard. Those are the only people I can give it to. Let's I'm give it to Abelard. To being ordered around. So that he can kill it this guy. 
Oh, you sack of shit. Okay, well. There we go. Yeah, he died on his turn. And he hasn't respawned, so I think we got all the unholy thingamajigs. 30% chance, but we'll try it. Oh, dead eye, dude. Fuck yeah. What a shot. Missing me with that gay shit, dude. Uh, can I even Absolutely see him? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I'm gonna get behind Adira. I have... What is this one again? Precise aim, 50% bonus, the effective range of the weapon, and 10% critical hit chance. Ooh, that Let's can kill him. Respond to this. Nothing of value has been lost. Let's go, baby. Is that it? Was that combat? Was that? Oh, it was. Oh, let's go, dude. Fuck yeah. I don't believe we've been properly introduced. The blood is boiling from the man's young man's lips and his voice barely audible. But even now it remains melodious and quite courteous. A vain winter scale of Kronos. Greatly pleased to make your acquaintance. Oh, on the rare days the Lord Winter Scale visits Iraq 5, the station was awash in a midst of warm hues. We were forbidden from meeting each other, but I was delighted to see such rare colors in my home. Uh, now, however, his colors is darkening, twisting from the pain and bitterness. We must help, Lord Captain. We must save the clarity of his soul, for he who possesses whose presence makes the world a little brighter deserves no less. Lady Cassie, I presume? The sacred child of Horsethelio? Horsethelio? Uh, how disgraceful that <laughs> it is that on the day we finally meet, I... He looks away in shame. I find myself not at my best. There's no disgrace in your predicament, Lord Winterscale. Uh, the Lord Captain and I, under similarly dreadful and tra oh, we met under similarly dreadful and tragic circumstances. What have they done to you? Conserve your strength. You are wounded and need help. Wounded. <laughs> I will have phrased it altogether differently. Tortured and maimed, perhaps. Have you ever had your eyes burned out? Ew. This was my first time. I cannot say I recommend the procedure. It He is either trying to make light of the situation or growing delirious from the pain. Finish him off! Oh my god, that's even an option? I must take my leave. I will see to the assistance provided you be escorted from here. I must take my leave. Your pilot will take you to the governor, mother. Um, I guess I will see to it that assistance is provided to escort you. He nods and gives into oblivion. Okay. Bunch of axes. He have anything cool on him? He did. He had a noble sword. Ooh. A precise las pistol. And improved armored body glove. Those are all cool. Let's check out the... For him here. Five to seven, but it does bleeding. This one also has cleave. Oh, but it's better than... Uh-huh-huh. So I think we do keep the axe just for the bleed. But I think we definitely replace this there. 7 to 12. 8 to 10. 
plus 10% parry. Oh, hold on. What does this one have? Plus 10% parry. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, that looks sick. A big ass sword. Cool. And then precise last pistol is six to eight. I think I will give this to her just so she has something, you know? And in the body glove, is there anyone here that doesn't have armor on? Ironically, the battle sister. I'm gonna put that on you. Uh, is that? Oh, I have two of them now. Interesting. Okay. Uh, nobody got hurt enough that round. So that should be it. Let me see. There's goods here. Ooh, another pistol. 7-Eleven. Let me look around here. Door. Some more stuff over here. Oh, I could have... Whoa. Your eyes drawn to the shard of the enormous lens shattered around the broken device. At first, you are uncertain as to what troubles you, but suddenly the realization hits you. The glass shimmers in a unique way, just the same as the shards of the unknown broken object you found near Theodora von Valencia's desk. What's the matter, Lord Captain? Why are you so interested in... Abelard trails off when he notices what you are looking at. He instantly makes the connection by the Imperium Saints. It cannot be. Irida, Adrida uh, bites her lip. I, I see it too. Whatever that thing is, was in her study was made from the same material as this junk. What? What? Abelard is at a loss for words. He takes a moment to collect himself, and all at once they start pouring out of his hasty sputter. It's a mistake. Slander meant to blemish the good name of the person who is now dead and cannot even defend herself. First, those minions of the arch enemy murdered Lord Captain Theodora, and now this cannot will not be tolerated. Okay. Come on now, Abelard. Remember what she was like. Adira's smile betrays her grief, but at the same time is strangely knowing. Brazen, assertive, it was like her entire life was a race against fate until fate caught up with her in the end. She would have gone headfirst into the black hole if she had thought it would put her even one step ahead of everyone else in the Expanse. Uh, if we could just find out what she was keeping in her desk and why she went to go get it during the attack. Sister Argento's beautiful face is now full of grief. How bitter it is to know that you were born of ba from bad blood. But do not let this knowledge drag you into the darkness. Perception checks succeeded. The sister's words ring with a genuine, sincere hope that you will be blessed with a worthier fate. She does not appear to be shocked by the news of Theodore's possible heresy. Life must be so easy for you, sanctimonious preachers. A dubious trinket and you no longer see a person, you see bad blood and annoying hindrance. There's enough venom in Adira's voice to poison an entire regime, regiment. Argenta recoils, but the moment her dark eyes ignite with fury. But the next moment her dark eyes ignite with fury. How dare you adon admonish me? Uh, we are speaking of abetting the arch enemy, a person who has tainted themselves, thus can never justify their actions. 
Sure, why go through all the trouble of trying to make a sense of anything when you can just label them as a heretic and call it a day? Except, dear friend, I seem to remember that you didn't mind Theodora so much while she was aboard the ship. You didn't leave her side even for a moment. She rescued you, aided you, and your adoration, adoration wilted the moment you saw or heard an accusation selling her memory. You were supposed surprised. You weren't surprised or upset. You just gave up and on her and moved on. Uh, okay. Cesar Jetta is right. The danger of heresy cannot be overstated. Adira is right. It is soon to cast, too soon to cast accusations of heresy. Sister Argento, you will cease these insinuation, insinuations that are Theodora at once about Theodora at once. I will not allow you. I will not allow the name of Von Valencia's family to be defamed by such a word, which you are walking a fine line between outright heresy and barrel of a bolter. Shut your mouth before I shut it for you or say nothing. I'm going to say it's too soon to cast accusations of heresy. Wilbur, don't be naive. Theodora kept an unsanctified, an unsanctioned witch by her side like a pet. Do you really believe she would think twice about crossing the line another way? Walk away from device. Okay. We got other shit to do over here, guys. Got goods. Tons of goods. Grenade. Melt a charge. Explosive device suitable for eliminating flimsy obstacles. I bet that's like a like a lockpick demolition thing. Lead. Okay, medicated 100. Nothing. Matters Evidence more. suggests that the victim was killed by poisonous gas. Oh yeah, I see. Excellence matters. Huh. Could I have used this in the fight? Don't know. Last pistol. I won't tolerate weakness. More stuff up there. Damn, he got fucking ripped in half, bro. God damn. Okay, ton of I'll shit. Claim to the stars. Ton, a ton of stuff. Is that all there was? I don't see anything else. There's loot right there, though. Oh, I missed it right at the beginning. Okay, well, I'll run my ass off over there and see what it is. Victory awaits. Okay. Oh, a bunch of stuff. Cool. Now, can I talk to the pilot? Your lordship? Really being his crush, you have your news to lower lord. Uh, is Lord Winnesco alive? Is he, is he all right? He is safe in one piece. I shall receive him as a guest on my ship. So ready the shuttle. Consider it done, your lordship. Thank you for the good news. Cool. Oh, I have no more questions. A new challenge for me. Okay. Well, that's it for the prison planet. Very, very big boss fight there. Very, very uh, hard on me. <laughs> Not really hard, but on Wilbur himself. They were they were pinning him down pretty good. But yeah, we next time we're going to go to the other planet. Uh, probably have some shit on our ship to do. Probably. I'm just guessing with that guy coming along. But yeah, I'll see you in the next one.